nasty again. But that's okay. Back at the shop once again. But yo, I got something special for y'all. Not really our norm here at Black Cloud, but uh, you might want to see this. Normally, you guys know us for our classic Japanese, classic American stuff. But today we're gonna have something that's real different. Let's have some classic German. Check that out. Porsche 928 wide body Koenig Special. This 928 is really, really special. Koenig Special, that is. Koenig was a really famous coach built house back in the 80s out of Germany. The stuff that they would build was really interesting like this. Very wild, very aggressive, and interesting to say the least. Some people may remember the Koenig name currently and remember its checkered past. But during its heyday, it was able to make some beautiful stuff like this. Do you see these hips? Look how big they are. It doesn't get any wider than that. When you can stuff big 335s in the back like that of these Borbet Type A's, you're really doing something. Do you think she does squats? low custom valence gives the car more of a chin. Normally these cars don't have this lower part that juts out. It usually just goes back in there. You would have to add on a chin spoiler or some type of diffuser uh, or splitter. And these Conic Specials are made to have these built into the front bumper. That gives this face on this thing way more character. If anything, it makes it match the rest of the wide body perfectly. With the Testarossa style air intake in the sides, the wide Borbet type A wheels, the different lower uh, bumper valence combo, rear wings, rear bumper treatment. This is a really cool car. like the 928s get a bum rap. <sighs> to your traditional Porsche enthusiast, they don't accept the 928s the same way that they accept the regular 911. Mainly because of the way they did the American way of putting the front engine rear drive V8 as opposed to a rear engine rear drive six cylinder air cooled motor. These are water cooled. Everything about this particular car screams American more than it screams German. Now yeah, 
the styling of it is 80s, early 90s, but really the whole idea of how this car is, it's very American in a lot of ways. Now, now 928s are finally coming into their own, and I feel like in the last five years have gained popularity, and uh, now at this point, you start to see them a little bit more embraced by the traditional Porsche community, but before, they weren't. They were considered really the bastard child. So it's nice to see examples like this out there rolling around on the streets to give people a different taste of what Porsche could look like as opposed to your regular Porsche like that right there in the corner. The 911, that's the traditional beauty that everyone knows Porsche for. So it's nice to see these things more often and they're getting saved more, their values are going up more, but something even more special as this Koenig special, that sticks out vastly in already a rare car. So it's great to see. And her coming into my spot really, really blesses it with this almost Akira red type of paint. I think it's beautiful. 